Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about our audio system and the latest upgrade that we've done to it. So you may recall we made a video about upgrading our stereo system in the van and it's been an absolute, one of the best upgrades that we've done in the whole van. We utilise it every time we go away, it's, it's brilliant. It has a sat-nav built into it, it allows us to add our own media, um, so we've got quite a lot of stuff on USB so we can take all our music collection with us wherever we go. But that is by far one of the best upgrades and it wasn't too expensive either. However, there was a downside to it. Once we removed the bulkhead, this thing didn't sound the same. So when I was driving back in it, when I first bought it, the first couple of months, I loved the stereo, it was great, absolutely brilliant. Took the bulkhead out, we had all the noise from the back, and as the build progressed, that noise went. Uh, I will be honest with you, we quieted it down, but there was still road noise from the fan. Something else we've uh, we've managed to fix, there's a video for that as well, I'll put a link up at the top. And um, we've we've noticed that when we're driving, some of the songs are distorted, some of the sounds, some of the music doesn't sound the way it does in our home. And we can only put that down to the fact that we've changed the acoustics in the vehicle. So to fix that, we've added some tweeters. It's a simple little upgrade, and I will be honest with you, we've had these in for a couple of weeks now, and it turns out they are absolutely fantastic. So this video is all about how we put them tweeters in and the results. Hope you enjoy it. Well, even on these dark nights, there's still jobs to be done. I started <laughs> putting some tweeters in at the weekend and, well, I didn't really get very far. <laughs> Time to get in the van and finish them off. Right, let me just show you this route because it is a bit convoluted. I do have two cables already run in. Now these run all the way to the back of the van, right down that end. Now put them in for speakers. Haven't really got round to putting speakers in. My intention was to use them, cut them up here somewhere, and uh, put the little tweeters in. So I've put the holes in for the tweeters, just really right in the corner on both sides. And then they bring you up into this area here. Right, let me, that's just twisted round. I can't really show you this, but way over in that back corner. I need to get a light. <coughs> there is um, the hole where this come up. Now we still have the original bulkhead in there. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole in the corner and then try, try and get along there to that point there with this flexible drawer. We use these all the time in the electrical game. Very handy, but have a mind of their own. They will go <laughs> everywhere but where you want them to go. So I will try and guide that to where it needs to be. But uh, wish me luck, because this is the hole. Maybe this will help comparison. Size of my head to the size of the hole. I know I've got a big head, it's like a bucket, but it does fit through that hole and I can get half a shoulder in, so I should be all right. Wish me luck. <laughs> so the area where I'm trying to work in is that little bit there. So we need to get from that corner, basically, to there. Let's have a go. So I've got a big light. I can go in here. And we might be able to see what we're doing. So I did think these two cables here were the speakers. They're actually the light switch wires. So <coughs> what we're going to do is try and get from that area there, put another hole through and then feed it along into that corner. And then that corner there should drop us down where them cables come out. Let's get on with it.
Okay, we're through with that. Right, we've finally got there. So what we'll do now is pop this, tape this cable onto that end and draw it back. Hopefully that should do us. And then over in the next couple of minutes, I'll run the cable through and get it to that point. This side, not too easy, but we'll bash on. We'll, we'll try and get it done tonight as well. Okay, so hey, we're through. Morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. Um, I haven't really done a lot this week. Uh, I went and seen Rod and Sue down at Mary Port at the marina. Really had a, a, a real good catch up. I met Rod and Sue last year at um, Living the Camp of Andrew Meetup that was over at um, Whitby Abbey and it's two weeks, two weeks yesterday and we'll be there again. So I went to see them, had a bit of a catch up and got the first chance to look around their, their van and you'll see that in a minute probably. Or I might have showed you it already, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where this will fall in sequence. But um, yeah, we started putting these tweeters in. Um, they're just cheap little tweeters. I want to see if they work first. If they work, I'm going to spend a little bit more money on a on a, a better product. But for what I've paid for them, they are just they are just a little test run. Um, probably showing them already. I need to get these cables dressed back to the to the radio. So what we'll do is we'll get these put away this morning. They just need cable tied down here. We've done the hard part and then get them to the back radio. So that's what I'm going to do now. If you want to know how to strip out all this area, um, if you go to our video on the radio upgrade, I'll put a link up here. Um, that will show you how to take all these panels off because you actually start in the middle and you work your way out. And uh, this is the first panel to remove and we'll show you how to get that off very easily without damaging it or marking it. We're actually going to meet another subscriber this morning um, Stuart he's actually racing some motorbikes um, he's in an endurance race today at a place called Raura which isn't too far from us it's literally on my way to work so we're going to head up there the sun's in my eyes at the minute sorry I'm trying to put this cable tie on as well so we're, we're going to head up there after we've done this I'm going to try and get the driver's side all put away and done because that, that way I can pull it back on the drive um, it's outside the house at the minute um, if we have it on the drive it's a little bit easier I can pop out and do stuff when it's on the front you get a lot of people talking to you it slows you down so I do like to do it on the drive <laughs> not that I don't mind talking to people because they all show an interest in the van and they like to have a look around and it's been good um, I met a guy yesterday he bought my old batteries an inverter he's right at the very start of his conversion um, so he's going to You'll probably see him in, later on in one of the videos. We'll, uh, we're going to put his batteries in for him and wire it all up. So that's another little job. So we can go through that again for anybody that doesn't quite understand how to go about it. Need to get on. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, that's so that's the cable dressed in. And what we've what we've actually done is we've utilised this area here to, to do quite a lot of our cabling, um, and it, it's it works out handy. There's a big void behind there. So it's a good way of getting from behind the dashboard up to where you need to be. Okay, we have everything running now. The cables are there and up behind me there. We've got all the panels back on, the ran tied in. And as you can see there, we have, these are for the tweeters. This is for the rear. And again, on this side, we have rear and tweeters. 
So, it's just a matter of making the connection at the dashboard now. So I've just got to work out how I'm going to do that. Um, I could splice into the wires that are there. But on the back of the socket, let me show you. We have a couple of spare wires there. So that's left rear, and obviously right rear. Or the other way around, one or the other. <laughs> I'll have to have a, a check and mark them up. But the space is there, so I could actually make a terminal and push it into there and it would lock in place. I just need to work out what size these terminals are. These uh, spades are that fit in the back of here. Um, I'm sure my brother's got a, a big box full of them, so I'll go and pick his brain. Well, we're back from the racetrack and look at the skies. Absolutely bizarre day today. I think we're going to get all four seasons in one day. So while the sun's shining, I'm going to get my tools, I'm going to crack on and get uh, get them tweeters fitted. So I've bought these little speaker clips, they were only a couple of quid each. But basically, I'm going to put that on the cable that comes from the radio. And they are just push fit in, so you slot your cable in there. Push them ends down, slot your cable in, let go. It's a nice mechanical connection. That'll sit up in, up in here. Um, I've pulled the cable back, so we'll make that connection off in, up in that box there, and then on the end of the uh, tweeter, we'll put this one. And again, it's a push connection. We'll feed that up. That's probably going to be the most difficult one because I need both arms in there. And uh, sorry, I've got a phone call coming through. I need both arms in the hole, and um, we'll need to just make that connection off. Right, let's crack on. Oh, now, can I just fit in here? I'm doing this one handed. managed to make one off <laughs> show you how I did it so there seems to be enough flex on this one to pull it to this point so basically I've put the red into the red side and the black into the black side that will give me somewhere to pop our our tweeters into so I'm gonna just push it back now and uh, get rid of the slack and hopefully we'll be able to make the connection I think the tweeters are going to be a problem now. I might have to drill a hole big enough to push push the connection through. I need to I need to think about what I'm doing next. Well, that's both sides with the uh, output done. I've just now got to uh, <laughs> do the tweeter side. You might have noticed all this overspray here. This is glue and I forgot all about it and it's gone off hard. But it's in the back of a locker that you never see. So I'm not really that fussed. Don't look at me like that. You've just pumped. You stink. Don't hey, where are you going? Where are you going? You can't just drop bombs and run away, can you? Get back in the van. In. If I'm having to suffer it, you're having to suffer it. This stinky butt. You little stinker. Eh? You little stinker. What are you? Eh? Good girl. Well, not good girl. Bad girl. But go on. Go and lie down. Go and lie down. Let's carry on. I've cut some hook side of the Velcro tape. Stuck it to the back of the tweeter. These are pretty lightweight, these. I'm hoping that's going to be strong enough to hold this in position um, on the roof. And that'll be a permanent fix. So now I've just got to feed that up behind there. Pop it in position. And we'll see how it looks. I'll have to put the phone down to do it. Cause it's in an awkward place. <laughs> it's worked. That is pretty secure there. It, you know, it will come away from the ceiling if I pull it hard enough. But there is actually no weight in them. Oh, that'll do. Right, let's get on get connected. Well, there's a storm blowing in. 
uh, with a bit of lightning, a bit of thunder. We'll see how it behaves itself in the next couple of minutes. Hopefully we don't get any rain. I'm going to shut the door, Dom. Come on. <laughs> Keep you in here. We don't want you getting scared. Pop them bits up front. Come on, Boo. Come on. Up front. Come on, Boo. Boo. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the wind anyway. See the trees at the bottom there, just bending and buckling. Oh, I think, I think the lightning's past us. Bad weather's just gonna maybe dip in and gives a bit of a soaking. And pool buggers on them bikes. <laughs> I hope you hope you're enjoying it, lads. This is the haul I made for the cable for the tweeter. And the tweeter just sits on there nicely. But I'm struggling. Let me just grab one of the tweeters. I'm struggling to get this connected up once it's through there I can't get in the cupboard I'm too big Lisa can't get in the cupboard because it's too far away so I now need to make a hole big enough to slide that through and hide it all so what we're gonna do is cut the carpet trim peel it back drill a hole through and then glue the carpet trim back in situ and when we put the um, tweeter on it'll hide this hole temperature trim adhesive. I'm just going to give this a little touch right here. <laughs> we'll give that a couple of seconds just to go off. And just pull it in the direction of the hole. Looks a little bit rough there, but once I put this through that hole, the majority of this will disappear. All I need is just to stick that right there. You can't even tell we've done it. Give it a little wiggle left to right and that'll just get the hooks hooked into the cloth. So I'm done, just the final connection to do up above. And that's us done in here. Let me show you what we ended up doing. So we bought some of these little clips off the internet a while ago. And when they come, we didn't realise how small they were. But they're absolutely perfect for this job. So we've crimped into them and then we've put some spares onto the cables that we're actually using and it works a treat we've decided not to use these at the minute um, I may come back later and put some speakers in the back of the van but in all honesty um, we don't use this when we're parked up so these speakers are probably 
never ever gonna the speaker cable sorry and probably never ever gonna get used up so yeah we just tapped into that obviously i did talk about putting some spades in the back but for what we need this will do the job so they're connected up to the rears and they work a treat one of the good things about this stereo as well is you can actually change quite a lot of the dynamics so for me i can move that point back and because we've wired up the tweeters in such a way that they work off the rear speakers we can perfect this move it around so it sounds absolutely perfect and what we found is at that position there the music is second to none so that's a good little um plus about this about this stereo as well um what we've added i don't know if you can see that but i may just be able to we added see the difference there between my finger just in that little corner there it's an anti-glare screen so there it's really glossy and when you slide it across it's not as not as noticeable but it stops the light from shining back and that allows us to video this with no we can see there if i put my hand closer with no actual reflection from behind so well don't say no you can see a little bit in this edge here but yeah eight quid and it's just off a like what would you what you would put on a tablet so well worth buying um just makes things a little bit easier to see when you're driving as well so that's how the tweeter looks it's got a real good hold with the velcro hides the hole we've just drilled and let's have a look let's see the final connection there it is just sat in the corner um shouldn't get bothered there but if it does i might put a little bit of capping around it or something just to tidy it off i'm gonna do that side now <laughs> okay that's the tweeters installed we've got one up here and we've got one just behind me there there it is yep let's see what it sounds like so my epidemic sound account I know it's hard to tell but it makes all the difference you know when we're driving I can the problem I had was we had quite a lot of noise behind us well not noise but road noise let me stop this so it was just road noise and um, when you're listening to a song it was sometimes hard to hear the words but um, I think this is this is gonna be a game changer so I think we'll take it for a little spin we'll close everything up take it for a spin and see how it behaves and away we go.
added another dimension. Adding the tweeters has been one of the better upgrades that we've done. I'll be honest with you, it's up there with doing the stereo and upgrading the suspension. Now, it didn't cost us a lot, less than 50 quid for the whole kit. It took us a few days and that was probably down to me because I had quite a few distractions that week. We went and met people, we went to a race meet and we had our wedding anniversary and birthday. So, just one of them weeks, you know, things just, my focus wasn't there. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, really do appreciate it. And the sounds these things put out are absolutely brilliant. I won't be changing them. There's no need to change them. We've had them in for a few weeks now and they're brilliant. Thanks for watching. See you again. This week we opened our YouTube store. So if you'd like some of our merchandise, why don't you click on the channel, go along the top bar until you find our store. Have a look in there at our unique merchandise. Have a look at the designs. Tell us what you think. Tell us if we need to add any more colours. But most of all, just tell us if you like it.